Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things as time permits. Uh, target for today, we're flying for the 509th Bomber Group. This is Diamond Lil, uh, flying with the 80th Squadron. We're flying lead today, low formation, and our target is Marcella, Sicily, which is a radar installation. 19th mission for the plane or and or crew. Um, we only have a couple of original members left. And I got one more ace. Ball turret. We just picked up ace last time. Okay, so I'll mark that there. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. It's um, been a while since I played this game too, so I gotta stump on my way through it. Again, uh, this is for the 509th Bomber Group. Here is the uh, mission brief. Uh, there's our flight path. Um, we were following the red route out and the blue route back. Um, you can see our positions here and the in in instructions for our for the mission, our gazetteer. Boy, just started recording and it's an east. Um, so we'll be flying, well, obviously using target for today. And um, let's do this. Let's take off, shall we? All right. Take off roll, die 10, 7. Take off OK. We find ourselves over two. And two, we're over to the Mid and Algeria. Um, we have Haze, no mission recall, mechanical failure. No mechanical failure. No contrails. Uh, we are in formation. We're above 10,000 feet. Uh, we have no German resistance, which means zero fighters, zero, zero fighters removed, zero fighter attacks, no evasive action, and no flak. Move to zone three. Zone three, we're again over to Med in Algeria, 50% cloud cover this time, no mission recall. We're going to roll for mechanical failure, 73, be none. No contrails. We are in formation and above 10,000 feet. So we just pull that over. Again, no German resistance. So we're going to put zeros all the way down. If I can get my act together. All right. That moves us to zone four. Yeah, cakewalk, right? Not yet. Don't even start thinking like that. Uh, zone 4, we are over the mid, but not so far out that we can't get uh, huge resistance, so there's no asterisks. Uh, mechanical failure roll is 30, none. And hold on a second. All right, um, let's see. So we did our mechanical failure. We had none. We have no contrails. We're in formation above 10,000 feet. No German resistance again, so zero is all the way down. And we go to zone five. In zone five, we are now over to med with an asterisk, which means we lose a fighter each wave because of the distance out to sea. Um, we have haze for weather. No mission recall, mechanical failure. 68 will be none. Contrails, none. Information above 10,000 feet. We have no German resistance, so we're going to drop zeros all the way down again. And we're going to move on to zone 6. In zone 6, we're over to med with an asterisk again. 50% cloud cover. No mission recall. Mechanical failure. 36 will be none. No contrails. Information above 10,000 feet. We, this time we have light German resistance. Again, we're going to be losing um, one plane per wave. And we're going to roll right 
right here. Oops, 63. It'll be two C202s. Yep, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. We, we're, we haven't played this for a while. Um, number of fighter waves. How about we roll for that first? D10, 9, 2. Um, minus 1 is, is 8. We are low. Goes back up to 9. So we're going to have two waves. That is zone 6, wave 1, outbound. And that's going to be two C202s. Actually, it's going to be one MC202 because of the, uh, the star. So we'll take out the first one. And that will be uh, 12 o'clock. It'll be 9 o'clock level. All right. So an MC202 at 9 o'clock level. We'll put him there. number of Germans driven off by friendly fighter escort. We do have good fighter escort covers, so we're going to roll right here, which is going to take care of him. Eight we mean to remove one out of the first and zero out of the second. So he's going to be driven off. Oh, come on. Sausage fingers. Um, that's one two o two, and he'll be intercepted. So we'll put that in our paperwork and roll for the next wave, second wave. So six wave two outbound. And again, we're rolling on the light chart. Fourteen. It'll be one C two o two. None. Because he's where star asterisks, I mean, M, M, Mediterranean asterisks, which means we lose one plane. So we saw zero planes. We got zero attacks, zero base of action, zero flak. Move on to zone seven. And, um,. In zone seven, let's get our flow chart out here so we don't forget anything. Move into the target zone. We did that. Target zone weather is 50% clouds. We are over the Med slash Sicily. Target visibility is already rolled for us. That's slightly obscured. Mechanical failure. 32 will be nothing. No contrails. We're information above 10,000 feet. We have heavy German resistance. We're going to roll for the number of German waves. And we will D10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two waves. Oh, damn it. I've been forgetting something. We also added a ME109. So add and subtract on the first one should have given me a 109. So I'm going to gang everybody up on this one to make up for that. Um, on the second one, that would have been driven off anyway because of our good fighter coverage. No, it would not have. No, it would not have because we had zero. I hate forgetting things. Um, forgot I'm lead. And when you're lead, you pick up a 109 at 12 o'clock level per wave. Um, so, I'm going to make us pay on this one. Um, we're going to add two of them plus the, uh, the other one. That's going to be two waves. I'm going to add, uh, Two ME109s for each wave to make up for the ones we lost last zone. Which is going to be harder this time. But uh, that's what I get for being forgetful. So, uh, okay. Two ME109s. Both of those are coming at 12 o'clock level. 
Um, and then we're going to roll on the chart for them. And again, this is heavy, so we're going to have problems. 14 again. Two 109s. So there's going to be four 109s total. One extra for being the lead and one extra for being a dumbass and for getting new off put them in on the on the first one so um, yeah we should have one all right so we're going to go ahead and one more 130 high and one more at nine o'clock level Okay, now we're going to see if any of these get driven off. Again, we have good fighter coverage, so there's a possibility. Right here we're rolling. 2d6 will be 7. That's 2 and 1. So 2 and 1. So this time I'm going to get rid of one of the... Uh, Twelve o'clock level ones, and I think we'll also get rid of. Let's set them up first. He returns the deck. One o nines. One one twelve o'clock level, and um, let's get rid of the one thirty high too, and let's go with the nine o'clock level. All right, there we have it. And defensive fire allocation, 12 o'clock level, be the top turret. Nose gun. And our tail gunner will do a passing shot. All right, and uh, nine o'clock level. Top turret, ball turret, and left waist. I'll put the ball turret and left waist on him. All right, now we go to fighter pilot skill, rolling for nine o'clock. Average, rolling for 12 o'clock, green. Defensive fire. Let's start up here in the nose. Nose gun. He rolls an 11. That's probably going to be a hit. Not 11, 12. Yeah, that's a hit. So we got a hit on a 109. And there is no twin guns, and he's not an ace. So that's going to be a uh, straight up roll. 8 FBOA. And that's our nose gun. Now old cop turret. He's an ace. He rolls an eight. I think that's a hit too. Plus one. Yeah, that's a hit. Plus two. Plus three for being an ace. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. And he also is twin guns. Um, so that's plus one and an ace. Plus two. 9, 10, 11, and he is destroyed. And he will go back here. And the top gun, top turret will get the uh, K. 109 KIA, and that is my engineer. All right, now we go to the 9 o'clock. We'll start with the left waist. He's going to get a plus one for nine o'clock, and that is it. Eight, nine, that's going to be a hit. Against a 109, it's going to be straight up. Eight, another FBOA. And that brings up the ball turret. And he's going to be ace, and a um, nine o'clock is plus two, and a power is plus three. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. That's another hit. And he gets plus two over here for twin guns and an ace. Eight, nine, ten. That's destroyed. So the ball gunner will get that kill. The guy's going to start racking up the kills now with these ace statuses. All right. If the review board agrees with this. All right. So we got. Uh, four ME 109s, two intercepted, and two probables. So that was an easy one. And let's see what we got on wave two. 46. Random event or no attacks? No attacks. And I'm going to forgo that because of our um, missing... Headphones are playing games. Um, are missing um, extra ones from the last two waves. So, well, actually, we would only get one extra plane. And because we're going to have the one driven off, we're going to actually get none. I know I'm confusing the piss out of you guys with this, but that's what you get for forgetting the extra 109s for being the lead. But we get out of it this time because. Um, we rolled the no attacks, so we don't get the extra one there. And the extra one I forgot from the last turn would be driven off. So I think we're square. So that'll be zero attacks. Zero evasive action. We had uh, one more driven off. And that brings us to... Uh, determine the flak, and the flak we know is heavy coming in. So we're going to roll three times on the heavy chart. Roll one, five is a miss. Roll two, five is a miss. Roll three, eleven is a hit. So triple A. Uh, zone seven, AA. Outbound. We're going to put one hit. Which will actually turn into up to the six, six. One hit. Stays one hit. That's going to be on a B17. Seven. Superficial. Wow. Super one. All right, we rolled for damage, bomb run, 6-6, six, six. 11, that should be good. We are, information is, um, but we're bombing manually, not on lead, so we're still at 11. Bombardier is, I'm sure, yeah, 11 missions, so we're still at 11. Slightly obscured, stays at 11. We are on target, folks. On target. Let's see how well we do with that on target. Bombing accuracy. 8. 30%. I'll take it. All right, now we go and get that out of here, bring this back over. Additional flak on the way out is medium. So we're going to roll three times on this chart. First roll is seven, miss. Second roll is eight, miss. Third roll is 11, hit. One hit down. A6. That's going to stay one hit. Area affected by the hits on B17 will be five. Tail A6. B17 F and G damage. Tail A6. We roll it an eight. Superficial. No effect. 
gotta love it when that happens. All right, so we made it through the flak. We're gonna turn around and head for home. German resistance on the way home is again heavy. Roll a three, four, five, six, seven. One wave. See if we can remember to get our extra um, ME one and nines this time. Zone seven. Wave one inbound. That will be ME 109 at 12 o'clock. I love it. My headphones are playing. That's what I get. I bought what's supposed to be a good wireless headset, and it just decides every once in a while to lose communication on me. And I keep getting with um, Logitech on it, and they keep telling me that everything's fine, or reset it, or reload it, and I just can't even think to use the damn thing wireless. It just drives me absolutely apeshit. So we're going to see if we can make it. I just plugged it back in. Hopefully we still have sound. Um, we got one wave. We have good fighter escort. We are now looking to see if we what we get against heavy resistance. 23. Another 109 at vertical climb. And 23, 110, 12 o'clock level. So we've got two of them coming at us from 12 o'clock level. And the 110, we'll go ahead and use the German counter. And the other 109, a vertical climb. Right now, we're going to see how many fighters we can remove. We still have good fighter coverage. We roll 12, three and a two. Holy cow! Our little friends are doing us some justice today. All three of them get driven off. All right, one, two, three, M -M -M one and nines. That's six of them driven off. And that was our only wave. Um, so we don't do any defensive fire, so we're going to have zero attacks. You know what I did forget to do, too? When, well, we didn't have any get past us, so we didn't have to roll for um, collisions. So all these guys return to deck. And our little friends are taking good care of us. And we leave the zone, go to zone six. All right, in zone six, we are over the med in Tunisia. We're gonna roll for mechanical failure. 59 will be none. We can get rid of the uh, flow chart now. The rest of this I have pretty well memorized. We are in formation above 10,000 feet. We have light German resistance. We roll a three, two, three at zero waves. Zeros all the way down. Move to zone six, or rather five. That is over Tunisia. We have haze, mechanical failure. 61 will be none. We are home free, by the way, other than something happening mechanically. There is no more German resistance. I should not give that spoiler because now you're all going to hit the stop button, but what the hell. No German resistance. We put zeros all the way down. I know you're going to hang on just to see if I land or not, right? Ha <laughs> ha. 
We are over Algeria in four. 50% uh, cloud cover, mechanical failure, 74 will be none. We're in formation above 10,000 feet. No German waves because there is no more German resistance or Italian in this case. And we move to zone three. Zone three, we're over Algeria again. We're going to roll for mechanical failure. We have haze on the ground. There's no mechanical failure. We are above 10,000 feet in information. We'll just drag that right on over. And again, no resistance. So we're going to put a whole bunch of zeros down. Which brings us to zone two. In zone two, we are over Algeria with haze on the ground, rolling for mechanical failure. 78 will be none. We are in formation above 10,000 feet. And we have no German resistance again. The Allies are starting to take over the sky. Now we go to the landing. And we're landing on land. We roll a 10. That's going to be safe. Yeah, we've got no damage. We've got uh, good weather. A pilot and or co-pilot are on 11th to 25th. Um, the, co co the pilot is, but the co-pilot isn't. So if we get plus one more, that's we don't need it. We're fine. We landed just fine. We got 30% bombs on target. And um, Diamond Lil has survived another mission. And this was actually a cakewalk. Uh, our our um, bombing could have been better, but our escorting was just awesome. Um, we took no, uh, very little damage. All that was from the flak, and we only had to worry about two planes that got through, and we shot both of them down. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Hopefully this gets published. If, if I didn't lose the sound, I thought my little headphone fine. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining